Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm back with another How I Organise video. So this is how I organise and lay out my pegboard. This is the IKEA pegboard, but there's lots of companies that sell pegboards, so do shop around. I like the IKEA ones, you do get lots of components to go with them. So I've got these trays, I've got these like tubs here, get my hand in the right direction. More trays, I've got these lovely little clear tubs which slide out, and then I've got hooks that I use as like a shelf. So I thought I'd do kind of an overview here, and then I'm going to grab the camera and I'm actually going to go in a bit closer so you can just see exactly what I've got on there. Okay, so I'll start along the top here. So these are all of my blending brushes. I've just got these stands that I picked up from Amazon and I've just popped them on the hooks. So it's just created like another shelf really, but it's just great because I can just grab these when I need them and then just pop them away and they just store nicely and they look cool as well. I like all the colours. Then I have these tubs either side. These are just full of different shaker bits and pieces in that one. This has got my Let's for when I'm making like mini albums and so on. These are all flat back pearls without the adhesive. I brought a massive bag of them again. I think it was, I think it was Amazon a while ago, but they're really nice. There's a real nice mixture in there. And then if I go slowly down that end there, I have some brads. In fact, they're all brads, all three of those um, tubs. And then if we come down here, so if I come in a bit closer, so all of these jars I picked up from charity shops just over you know the years. They're all different. I believe these tall ones and those ones are IKEA. I think this is the newer size. So you can, I think, still get these, and if not, just put in spice jars. So you'll be able to get them, you know, um, from many different places. But you can see in here I've just got all different things. I've got mainly sequins for shaker cards and stuff, but I've got some little pom-poms in there. And I've got probably you do with giving it a little dust actually on top there. <laughs> it's not until you look at things closer. I've got some fish in that one, more sequins, there's some seashells, beads, and then in these ones here again I've got a few Christmas bits, there's like some snowflakes, some wooden little sticky bits, pom-pom, no they're sorry there are little styrofoam balls. These are really nice little um, gems as well and there's some more bits and pieces. It's just nice to keep them there again all visible, I can see exactly what I've got. And then I've got some more there in the, their little discs in the gold. And then I've got the same, I don't want to go too fast, but I've got the same at the opposite end in the silver. And then if we come down here, these are all glitters. So there's a mix of Arteza ones at the end there. And then these ones I think were from B&M ages ago. It was like a big pack of 24 or something but there's some really nice colours in there and then I've got the rest of all the Arteza glitters on the bottom there and then here's all of my kind of tools and just things I just grab all the time so I've got a mixture of here we've got like gel pens all different white gel pens really there's a couple of other pens in there some Winkostella got my Posca pens but predominantly white mediums really and I've got my plates for my little sidekick pokey tool got my bone folder there are those blending brushes that I recently shared so they're little mini finger blending brushes not daubers so they're not sponge they're actual brushes on the end which are really nice and then I've got here my eraser that's the embossing plate there so I'll pop that back in that one pokey tools got my die release little brush thing there just all those things just those bits and pieces pick up tools more Winks of Stella, Winks of Stella, Wink of Stella, Shimmer Pens, and then again, just, it's just the tools, all the bits and pieces, all my kind of little snips, and I keep my other scissors there as well. I hang them usually on the end, but they're on my desk, so I keep my rulers and I hang my long scissors on there as well. And then there's some more glitters there, and down here I've got some more glitters and I've got some little, again, like shaker pieces, the wobblers that I use on cards. And they're just other little glitters and so So that's on. my pegboard layout. So I hope it's given some of you some ideas on ways to organise and lay out yours. I do like things to be quite symmetrical, as you can probably tell. And I will no doubt move it around again at some point. And that's the nice thing about this. You just pop out all the pieces and you just, you know, link them or clip them in wherever you need them to be. So there you have it. For those of you that have requested, that's my pegboard layout. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back again soon with more tutorials. Bye.